Oh, yes. Yeah. <laughs> Asian That's Oprah. That's what like they it. call me. <laughs> I am happy. And I'm reporting here live from the City Gala Steps of Walt Disney Hall. We just finished the uh, red carpet interview with Quincy Jones. And now I have a fabulous looking man who just tried to walk by the Asian Oprah. So <laughs> I'm here to ask you a couple questions. So I have a friend, she doesn't have an answering machine. She has a questioning machine. Okay. And it says, when you call her, who are you and what do you want? Okay. Who are you and what oh, do you want? I thought you wanted me to ask you that. No, oh. I'm asking you that. <laughs> okay. I think well, people, I, well, I can't tell with the I am, I'm just a wandering spirit in a, a world full of positive souls looking for other enlightened beings to make positive change on this earth. That's me. That's, that's what I do. That's beautiful. What's your life motto? Uh, my life motto is enjoy each and every moment as if it's your last mm. and uh, remember to always learn from every experience. Beautiful. Mine's don't die wondering. Is there anything that you've That's ever, you, you, have, you want to do that you haven't done yet? Lots. Yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. Number I, one. I feel like I've only just begun. Well, I, there's a lot of places in the world that I haven't seen, but there's okay. a lot of things that I need to complete. I feel like, you know, we all have our goals, we all have our quests. For me, one of them is, you know, accomplishing certain aspects of my career. Yeah. But then also uh, accomplishing certain humanitarian efforts, political efforts, <laughs> things that I want to help to change the, the better of the world for the future. Great. I'm going to have to follow and make sure that you, uh, you, you make good on those. Uh, well, that's, that's <laughs> the plan. <laughs> I mean, it's really up to God. As long as I'm around to do it, I'll make it happen. You know, I, I also believe that you can achieve anything you want if you put your mind to it. So positive belief is what it's really all about. Yeah. And we can control our destiny. We can create our destiny. Okay. We can make our own reality. Now he's so preaching to the choir. So we're going to have to have you on the show. It's about hope and happiness. Right. And you definitely embody that. So what do you say to people who aren't feeling as positive and as hopeful right now, especially with what's going on in the government? Make a gratitude list. Hey, that is my number one tell, advice. Ask my Give listeners. Yeah, that's, a, what I, that's what I tell them to do. Yeah, well, you know what? When you need to turn it all around, I get, I'll, I'll give you some very profound wisdom here, okay. Okay, which is this. Which is that darkness attracts darkness. Positive attracts positive, right? So if you want to turn things around, if you sit there and you dwell in the negative, you're only going to get more negative. But if you actually throw positive energy back at it, then positive is going to come back at you. So the best way to protect yourself from the negative things that are happening in the world right now is to not dwell in the negativity, but to think about how you can do something to change it, right? And the best way to get into that mindset when you're depressed is to make yourself a list of all the things that you have to be grateful for. So, you know, when you wake up in the morning, go, hey, what do I have to be grateful for today? Because no matter how bad your life seems, there's always somebody out there that's got it a lot worse. I promise you that. You sound like you listen to my show. I've never heard your show, but it sounds like I need to. But you're going to be on my show. So the last thing we do is do a peace in, peace out for you. All right, sounds good. So peace in. Peace in, peace out. Peace out. Ryan Corbin. Peace and love. Dr. Marissa. Thank you. Thank you.